Hey everyone, Silver Contrail here. This is sort of the sequel to my channel update that I had earlier, uh, basically asking what should I upload because I've had some thoughts about where I should take the channel and what series are worth keeping, which ones aren't, and I got a lot of feedback on it. And first of all, I want to thank everyone who did comment on that video. Uh, that was awesome. It was great to hear from everybody. It gave me tons of ideas. So hopefully going forward, there's going to be more cool stuff on this channel, and I'm really looking forward to it, actually. Uh, yeah, lots of lots of cool stuff, I think, will come out of this. So again, thank you for commenting. Um, I'll put a link to that video in the description in case you missed it. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, so there's a couple of things coming up, um, and I do want to just clear up some things right away. First of all, uh, Resonant Rise isn't going anywhere, necessarily. Uh, I probably will be keeping that around. I may start over on Solitary Craft. It'll be pretty much the same thing, but start with a fresh world. Uh, the reason being uh, is Resonant Rise is kind of wonky right now. It's it, The frame rate's all over the place. We'll talk more about that in a little bit in another video, I think. Um, I'm trying to optimize it, and it's not it's not working very well. Um, so it'd be nice to start over and, and mess with Greg Tech especially, because my pack doesn't have Greg Tech, and I'd like to use it. But that's a conversation for another time. Um, for now, I want to talk about the four ideas that I have for different series that I'm going to have uh, alongside you know, a regular mod pack series. Um, and then the other one last thing to mention is that I've got this Race for Wool tournament coming up that I'm going to be taking part in. So you're going to see videos from that, and there will be more information on that soon. I'll make a big video about what's going on with that and how you can get involved if you want to be involved. Uh, so, yeah, so the four I, four series ideas that I have, uh, the first one is a pick five mod pack let's play, where basically I'll go in and I'll pick five different mods, and I'll play very similarly to how I play in other mod packs, but with a very limited set of mods, uh, just those five, and I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it, if I want to count terrain gen mods as a single mod, or count um, add-on mods, as a single mod, what, how I exactly want to do that, and I'm still working that out. But I think that a smaller mod pack would be really helpful to players who seem overwhelmed by the amount of different mods that are in there. Uh, it also forces you to really stick with these mods and use everything they have to offer than just a couple of things that are convenient for you. Um, while it still maintains some of that uh, between mod interactivity that you have, um, within you know the larger mod pack, so it's not like you're playing with just the one mod and you don't have any other mods to interact with it. You are playing with a bunch of different mods, uh, so you have a lot of different options available to you. But it's not overwhelming, and potentially the end game isn't as crazy. Uh, so no flying around the world, for instance. Uh, so I, I think this would be it would also run a little bit better. Uh, it would be something that I'd have to custom make, of course, and, and set up really quickly. Uh, not too much of an issue to do that. It's just a matter of picking which mods to go ahead and put in a mod pack and play that. So that could be an option. Um, certainly could be something that's fun. I'm open to suggestions about that. Uh, the second one is a series of tutorials, not based on vanilla Minecraft, but based on the sort of the forge modding environment of Minecraft, where you have packs like you know the Feed the Beast, the AT Launcher packs, uh, the Tech It packs having tutorials on how to do different things because one of the struggles I have personally is when I need to figure out how to work some sort of machine, um, create some sort of setup, uh, I have to go and either try to dig through a Let's Play to find where that Let's Player uses that and they may not even tag it in their video description or in their tag so I don't know if they have it or not and you know, if they're messing with it or not and I just have to kind of assume or I have to go find a mod spotlight, or I have to try to go to a wiki, and a lot of times those don't have the information that I need. What a mod tutorial would do is it would basically give you uh, the information that you want about how to do a certain thing, how to automate your applied energistic ne network, how to integrate with uh, remote IO, how to work with Steve's factory manager, although he's actually got a really good tutorial on that on his page, uh, how to make basic tree farms, how to generate energy in the early game, uh, how to uh, do different sort of different item sorting methods um, that are available. So I could do, you know, a five-part series on early game energy, a five-part series on mid-game energy, and all the different mods you have available to you. How to set those up, how to get the materials for them. Um, very, very helpful. Just very helpful videos to players, and I think that would be uh, really cool to make. 
and a lot of fun to make too. Be a lot of different cool things you can make, so like like end game setups, um, stuff that um, you know that that have have been done elsewhere, but maybe haven't had a tutorial on how to do them. Uh, sometimes lots of players they don't have enough time to maybe make a tutorial, so that would sort of be something that I could do in that series. Um, so, so sort of outside of the the let's play because an episode might contain a bunch of different things and not necessarily focus on one one build project that needs to have a very in-depth explanation so I think this would serve a need and it'd be pretty fun uh, the next idea is I had a lot of people suggest a uh, mini games and like I'm, I guess I'm up for that if if players want to do that um, like I had like I played on the pvp.oc.tc server uh, in the last video and and that would be fine um, another option is to play a challenge map uh, stuff like skybox sky ugh, excuse me skyblock survival um, or there's another option where you can have um, or we could do like a, a challenge map uh, something like a like a CTM a complete the monument uh, you know like a vex map or an amlop map I'm thinking uncharted territories 3 uh, that would be pretty fun. I've, I, I've played it a little bit, and it was pretty fun of what I played it, and I'd like to complete it, and I wouldn't mind doing that on camera. Uh, it's just those maps do play a little odd when I record them because I tend to go really slow. If you've watched my Infernal Mind series, what little of that that I did, it was very, very slow. Uh, but that's just how I play them. But I can try to make those a little bit better if I can. I don't know. We'll see. Um... That's definitely an option, though. And the last thing I have isn't Minecraft related, but it's pretty close, actually. It's Gary's mod, and I can do a lot of let's playing in Gary's mod. Uh, maybe not necessarily playing the game modes, but one of the things that I have in my, I guess you'd say, skill set uh, is back in the day, because I've been playing Gary's mod since it came out. Um, I used to make maps, and I still am very capable of doing so, making custom maps using Valve's Hammer Editor. Which you know, gives you a whole range of different power, you know, abilities, and to go way beyond what uh, what uh, Gary's mod lets you do, and I think that would be a lot of fun, you know, to be able to uh, create custom maps uh, within Gary's mod, and then uh, you know I could do like a tutorial series on on how to make maps, or like we could go through the process of making maps, um, putting in cool things, even to the point of replicating Minecraft within Gary's mod. Uh, I actually tried this before where I was making basically entities that acted like Minecraft mob spawners uh, that you could, if you went close to, they'd start spawning NPCs, and then if you walked out of the range, they would stop, and then a bunch of other stuff like that. Uh, I need a program to record Hammer, but that could be fun. There's a lot to do in Gary's Mod uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that, and I could start doing videos on that um, whenever. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that's about it for me. Uh, again, I'm really interested in your guys' feedback. And, um, yeah, Resident Rise, again, isn't going anywhere. Um, well, a, a main mod pack series isn't going anywhere. I may just start over and do a different mod pack because I'm running into issues with my Resident Rise one. Uh, it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal to start over uh, for me anyways. Uh, but, yeah, I'm again, I'm just interested in what you guys have to say uh as always so please leave a comment if you can and yeah that's about it for me so until next time then